Every great human achievement is a combination of human effort and initiative and a Kashbaku's divine assistance and intervention in Siyat Bishmaya. And the yeshiva and a Makum Tara is no different. This yeshiva has a Kaddish Baruch Hu, Siyat Deshmaya, because of what took place here in 1947 and 1948, the initial wave of settlements, the heroic defense of the Gush as protecting the southern flank of Yushalayim. Without this defense, Yushalayim would have been captured in its entirety in 1947-1948. And the heroic stand, but unfortunately a terrible massacre in Gush Etzion that led to the surrender of the entire Gush. For 19 years, the orphans of the Gush would climb to the highest buildings in Yerushalayim and look afar at this tree and dream and hope and pray that maybe one day they could return. In their minds, they probably imagined it would take 200 years, maybe 300 years. Who knew that 19 years later, in this week's parsha in Mechukosai, HaKadosh Baruch Hu warns us that if we betray his mitzvahs, then it evict us from the land. But he also says a very interesting phrase, that as much as you'll be evicted, your enemies won't be able to take root in this land. The land refuses to yield itself to farmers. So for 19 years, and for 1900 years, despite the best efforts to lay claim to this land, to tap into its latent fertility, to colonize it, the greatest empires failed. For 19 years, this land lay barren, waiting for her children to return. And then in 1967, for the great miracles that we're celebrating this week, this land, the hinterland, the corridor of Jewish history, of which Christian Tzion is part of, where Avram left for the Arkeda, this land was returned to her children. And that's when the yeshiva took root. And Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, because of that Siyat Lishmaya, it isn't just the yeshiva, but it's an entire community built around Tara, the broader Gush, which so many of you have learned in, have visited, and the Hashem will continue to visit. So we believe that this is a yeshiva which is being fueled by all of our efforts, by all of your efforts, by all of our common identification. But we feel that there's Siyat Lishmaya because this is a yeshiva built upon the return that day, about five months after the Six Day War, when the orphans were finally allowed to go back. They got government approval, as you know, days Elo. They started their day by visiting the graves of their parents in Harazitim, and they walked through Beit Lachem, and they visited Kever Rachel, and they actually read the Psukim, in which Rachel is encouraged in Yermia no longer to cry, and they told their dear mother Rachel, you don't have to cry anymore, we're coming home. They came back and laid the seeds for the greater bush that we now, our Hashem, enjoy and are advancing and promoting. And this has become ground zero of the regeneration of our state. So everyone should have a wonderful Yom Shalem as we celebrate the return to history and the return to our homeland.